So uh, the book is devoted to that. Um, it's got a number of ideas and themes. Uh, number of, uh, one theme is we need a lot more high-skilled immigration, not just uh, uh, green cards for STEM graduates, but also a lot more entrepreneur visas. Uh, number two, we need uh, a, a better system of financing entrepreneurs. We made a big in inroad on that in, in having the Jobs Act enacted uh, with bipartisan support um, in April, but our book argues that we should go even further. Uh, number three, and this is a subject that Carl is going to talk about in some detail and has great experience in, uh, we need um, much more successful academic entrepreneurship. Um, and there are impediments to that right now in universities that Carl will talk about and that we actually think federal policy can help change. And a final component that we do not talk about, but I'll, there's a reason why in a minute that I will tell you it's important, we need regulatory reform, not just for new firms, but for established firms. In my view, we ought to have a universal cost-benefit requirement for all new rules. We ought to have a sunset requirement for all existing rules so that all major rules uh, uh, lapse after 10 years um, and only get readopted in some other form or, I mean, if at all, um, if the benefits are greater than their costs. And we urge a similar effort um, at the state level. So these four components I have not mentioned by accident. They are the components of a bill, a bipartisan bill, and I want to underscore the word bipartisan because in this election season you forget the fact that there are actually some things that the two parties can agree on. And they have agreed on, both in the House and the Senate, something called, at least the sponsors have, um, a bill called the Startup Act 